What is up guys and welcome back to another video. What we are going to be doing today is we're gonna be getting my girlfriend a new fish. I'm gonna surprise her. She has no clue at all I'm gonna be getting her a new fish. I wanna get her a garami, like a really, really cool garami because she has a 10 gallon tank right now and she has a blood parrot cichlid and she's gonna be giving me that soon to be put inside of the pond because that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to get a fish to put inside of the pond and grow it. But this video is gonna be super cool. I hope you guys like it and if you guys are new here, I am Luke Dombrowski, and what we do here is we get fish for ponds, tanks, and whatever else we want to do. We build some ponds, have some really cool tanks. So if you guys are new here, go subscribe down below if you guys like this video. All right, so we're walking up to the fish section right now. What do we like and what do we have? All right, they have some kind of cool garamis in here. They're like orange on the bottom with bright blue on the top. You see him in background right there? and him right there. I kind of like him, he looks really cool too. We got some Bala sharks, we got some rainbow sharks, and a few other things in here that I know she would like the Bala sharks, I know she would like the rainbow sharks. I really think that she would like that bright blue and red garami in the background, and I also think she would like that too, that fish. Those would all look very cool, and that cichlid right there is actually kind of cool too. We got some clown loaches in here. Those do good with almost anything. We got some really, really fat goldfish in there too. I kind of want to get these guys right here and put them inside of my big pond and see if they mate with my other uh, mosquito fish. That would kind of be cool. And then over here they also have a silver arowana baby silver arowana for 30 bucks the reason why you don't want to get arowana is usually that small is because when you get them when they're about two inches like that size right there it's a really hard time keeping them alive that's why i got mine when he was about five inches and now we're moving on what else do we have inside of here we have a huge platinum molly right there just kidding and then tiger barbs, we might get some of those for my 20 gallon tank, that'd be kind of cool. We got some albino cichlids, those are really cool. And a purple parrot cichlid, how is that even real? It's not purple. Alright, but they have like a freshwater crab or whatever, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I think we might get her the gourami. Oh, there you go. And you said two of them? Yeah, two of those. All right, so we got the two baby dwarf gouramis inside of here. We're gonna go to the house, acclimate them to the tank, and put them in, and then surprise her with these. Yeah. Do you have a VIP phone number with us? Yes, I do. Go ahead. These things are really cool. Their bright blue colors on their top fin is so sick, and then their orange is also really cool. But 100%, when you guys have these small dwarf gouramis, inside of a tank that's a lot warmer than the pet store water. The pet store water is pretty cold. So once they get in that warmer water, the colors will change and they usually get a lot more vibrant colors. I don't think a lot of you guys know this, but the temperature of the water actually affects the color of the fish. But we're gonna head over to her house right now and put these in her tank. And yes, for all the people asking um, what I do with my fish when I am by myself and I have no one else to hold them inside of the car, I um, put the seatbelt around them and put something next to it so they're tightly in there and make sure they cannot move because if they do move and they fall off, you never know what can happen. They could get injured. What a perfect timing. She's walking her dog right now as I'm pulling up. She's back there. So let's go do this quick. Let's get them acclimated to the tank within 10 to 12 minutes because that's how long she usually walks her dog for. Let's go. We need to go in there, sneak attack. I also got her some fish food since she doesn't like feeding her fish pellets. We're gonna feed him first. I wanna see if he's gonna come up and eat. See, look at it. He's, he's a little bit aggressive, but I think he'll be fine with gouramis. He knows. I swear he knows. He definitely knows that I'm gonna feed him. He likes flakes a lot more than pellets, that's for sure. He 
see that? Coming up to the top and eating. So cool. The last ones that she had of this, her dog ate, so we're gonna have to carefully hide these. After probably two minutes of him eating, finishing off the flakes. All right, so now we're gonna set these guys in the tank. He'll probably still eat the flakes. I just didn't wanna wait too long because she's still walking her dog. But look at how pretty these things are. So freaking cool colored. All right, we're gonna let him sit in there for 10 to 12 minutes. Whenever she gets back, and then I'm gonna put him in. All right, she's coming home. Oh no, that was her. Don't come in yet, don't come in yet, don't come in yet, don't come in yet. Oh All right, they're in. Oh, he's messing with them, that's what it is. He's messing with them. They're in there. So now since they're inside of the tank, we gotta wait for her to come inside of the room and notice them. I'm gonna let her come in in a minute. Bella. Bella, come here. Oh my god! Oh my god, they're so cute. They actually are. What are they? Garamis. What the heck are garamis? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so pretty. Where'd you get them at? From the pet store? Where else can I get them from? I know, but like, like which pet store? They actually look really cool. The one off North Lake. And I got you fish food. That's so sick. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh my god, they're actually so cool. How do you know I like this? Because they have bright colors. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. And as you can tell, the garamis are just chilling one right there, then the blood parrot cichlid right there, and then one garami right here also. I fed them earlier and they were actually eating, so I'll probably try to feed them once again in just a little bit. You can see how sick their blue fins are inside this tank. And it seems as if he's not messing with them as much anymore, but hopefully within the next few days, he'll stop messing with them or else I'm gonna have to take him out and bring him to one of my tanks most likely. And also I'm probably gonna get her a background so you can't see all the stuff in the back. It will be a lot cooler if there's something in the back, like a black background or a blue background or just something kind of cool. She likes this tank a little bit Chinese. As you guys can tell, you got the bamboo, bamboo, and then like a Chinese hut thing inside of there. So. It's pretty sick because it's got black gravel in there and this one needs to be replanted. I'll probably replant it in just a few seconds so it grows a little bit better and doesn't grow sideways like it is. As you can tell, it's going kind of sideways like that. And I'll probably get her a top so she can keep the heater on a little bit higher to keep the fish more happy. And um, that's almost it. Just get her a top and then fix this plant up, background, and just a few more little things. So once I'm finished fixing up this plant right here, I'm probably gonna feed them in a few minutes. There we go. Fix the plant up a little bit so it's not leaning as much. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get these fish to eat a little bit. They're both eating back in the corner over there. Oh, all three of them now. All three of them are munching. You can see them eating the flakes right there.
I think it's kind of cool to have a fish tank like this. Uh, you basically see the all the colors inside of the fish. And it's a kind of a small tank with some smaller fish. And once these fish get too big, well, obviously these are not going to get too big. They're dwarf gouramis. But once he gets a little bit too big, he's going to be going inside of my tank or my smaller pond or something. So he can interact with fish that are his size and maybe even a little bit bigger. <laughs> Thank you for my fish. No problem. Actually, really cool guys. Um, as you can see, they're red Stop. and blue. They <laughs> landed you two, right? But as you can see, my fish Gumpy over here, if you guys have been following up on my videos, is eating right here. So, really cool. Alright, but this is where I'm going to end it off today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys like it, don't forget to go and drop a like down below and also subscribe down below. And if you guys want to see more posts, go follow me on Instagram, Abby Dombrowski, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to do it again.